Lyft gets new funding that values the ride-hailing service at $11 billion, and it is coming from an investor in its biggest rival. Alphabet's Capital G unit is leading the $1 billion investment. Remember, Alphabet's Google Ventures made a big investment in Uber years back. The deal also solidifies ties between Lyft and Alphabet's autonomous vehicle division, Waymo, which, of course, is embroiled in a bitter lawsuit with Uber. Joining us now to discuss Bloomberg Tech's Eric Newcomer, who covers all things ride-sharing, and our guest host for the hour, Bob O'Donnell, president of Technolysis Research. So, Eric, you reported a couple of months ago that this was yep. possible. Right. Now it's official. What does this mean? I mean, I think it's, you know, it's amazing, uh, the sort of about face here on Alphabet. You know, they invested in... Uber back in 2013 when Uber was just doing black cars, they were way ahead of things, and that the relationship over these intervening years has totally deteriorated is amazing, I mean. And they also have a stake in Uber's success, right? I right, mean, if, right. if Uber has a you know massive exit, Alphabet would benefit from that greatly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, I mean, you can see both sides of it. For one, it's good, I mean, clearly the industry is growing, why not have stakes in both? On the other hand, it's a bit of a zero-sum game. I mean, the Uber and Lyft have traditionally used the money to spend it on subsidies against each other. So investing in both sides is sort of taking money out of your pockets and lighting it on fire because they keep using it to sort of discount their rides to, to gain market share. Bob, is it a zero-sum game? Well, I'm not sure that it is. I may disagree with Eric on this one because, look, it's still not completely ubiquitous. And so at the end of the day, any market grows when there are strong competitors, right? You can look at any kind of market there is. Two strong companies helps raise all boats, I would argue. Uh, certainly, there is a lot of that that's going on. but. I think the opportunity to drive more uh, strength across it, make it more completely ubiquitous. Remember, we, we're in the bubble here. Outside the bubble, there's still a lot of people who haven't even tried it yet. So that's where the growth opportunities, I think, are, certainly here in the U.S. And then if Lyft takes some of that money and goes international, of course, that becomes a very interesting question as well. 